are four surveillance cameras running at this discount store in Columbus, Ohio, and one catches the action. As this masked man rummages through the manager's office, he ransacks the drawers looking for anything that will help him crack the steel safe. Most criminals at least bring their tools with them. But finally, he's got an idea. And look at the time. He's gone for more than an hour. No subtle safe-breaking equipment for this gangster. He's going for brute force and horsepower with this circular saw. Despite the racket he's making in the back, customers and staff seem totally unaware the place is being robbed. Between the showers of sparks and the thick smoke that's filling the room, he's lucky he doesn't set the building on fire, trigger the smoke alarm, or pass out from smoke inhalation. His safe-breaking technique actually works. He grabs a few hundred dollars stashed in the safe, and then remembers one thing, the video camera. It's a bit late for that. This pyrotechnic robbery has been perfectly captured on tape. Two dash-mounted cop cameras are focused on a fleeing pickup truck. The robbery suspect is making little ground on these Ohio troopers. And he's desperate. The beer bottles shatter on the highway. But these cops aren't phased by it. The suspect tries to force an innocent motorist off the road. He's out of control. That was a spike strip. Here's the view from the second cruiser. He manages to swerve at the last moment and avoid the spike strip. And that cop hauls it out of the way fast so the pursuing troopers don't run over it. But the suspect is about to run into one big 18-wheeler roadblock. This trucker has been alerted on CB radio by other truckers that a pursuit is in progress right behind him, and he's determined not to let this guy through. He's carefully choreographed this move with the truck in the right lane. The two trucks have the road completely blocked. This chase is about to be over, or is it? The truck driver forces the pickup into the guardrail. One officer climbs over the truck. But the suspect dives out into the brush. The trucker moves his rig up the road as the manhunt continues. The cops quickly apprehend the driver and end the pursuit right here. And now he's looking at serious jail time. A 24-year-old suspect speeds through Seattle in a stolen sports car. It's the second vehicle the perpetrator's allegedly stolen today, after police say he committed two residential burglaries with a 16-year-old female accomplice. Police caught her, but now he speeds through Seattle's 35-mile-an-hour streets doing 60. More than a dozen officers are close on his heels. That's fender bender number one, but it does nothing to slow him down. He hits 100 miles an hour as he accelerates up the shoulder of the highway. Suddenly, he makes a U-turn, flying down the highway and past a motorcycle patrolman. He forces his way through traffic and barrels down the wrong side of the street. The suspect tears through the greens at the Wayne Golf Course.
back on the street. He heads south as citizens start taking the law into their own hands. Still, the chase resumes, and he's up to more than 70 miles an hour again. But these Seattle officers close in on him. He pulls into a private driveway, and a woman runs for her life. Finally, they cuff the guy and read him his rights. He's charged with five felony counts, including first-degree theft and attempting to elude a pursuing police vehicle. Now he faces up to six years in jail. Fortunately, no one was injured in the chase that lasted nearly an hour. The owner of the stolen Subaru tried to cash in on his battered coupe's notoriety and advertised it for sale on eBay, but it didn't sell. More disorderly conduct is right around the corner. Pursuit through Hollywood turns out to be a family affair. And a North Carolina crook rams home his point. Disorderly conduct is coming right back at you.